Hi everybody, I am Victoria from Sleek Technique Valley Fitness and welcome to our YouTube channel. This is a great place to subscribe to keep up with lots of great fitness, dance and body sculpting tips. If you want our full workouts, do head over to our sleekvalleyfitness.com site. Today, I'm gonna to take you through fantastic exercises you can do at home, anywhere, to tighten up your glutes, engage your hamstrings, give you fantastic muscle tone in your legs, strengthen your back, and a little bit of core work too. So all you're gonna need is a chair and something to act as a squeezy resistance. That can be a rolled up towel, a kid's football, pillow, whatever you have at home. Let's get going, let's get sleek. So starting lying down on the floor, your mat, you want your bottom fairly close in to your chair. Bring your heels quite close into your bottom as well. And I've opted for a rolled up towel because it's the easiest thing to find at home. Placing it between your knees, just starting with a gentle activation of your inner thighs and your pelvic floor, get that squeeze on. The legs should be quite close together, depending on the width of your towel. Squeeze, hold and engage. And then we're gonna add a second phase. We're gonna lift our hips up high, making sure your knees are in good alignment. Press the palms down into the floor and open up through the chest. You get a little bit of sneaky arm work too. From here, adding another phase, we're taking little dips down and press up. Still keeping that gentle clench between the knees so you don't drop your towel. Making sure the knees aren't knocking, keeping them in line with the feet so you might need to narrow your feet just slightly. If you're working with a thinner towel, they'll be a little bit wider if you're working with a ball or a bigger cushion. Good, so we're activating our hamstrings, we're activating our glutes, activating our inner thighs, our adductors. Finally, hold it here, keep that squeeze on inwards and upwards before you release and lift the feet, keeping the squeeze between the knees, placing your heels onto the seated part of your chair. Shimmy your bottom back a little if you need. Again, lifting up from the bottom, hips up high, squeeze the knees. We're gonna hold for eight, seven, so you'll really feel this in the hamstrings. Four, three, two, and one, then adding the same little dip and lift. And still keeping that squeeze on between the inner thighs, firing up the pelvic floor, helping our stability when we come to standing. If you're working into your sleep workouts, any adage, any allegro, these are the muscles we need for stability and power into elevation. Lower, push and lift. Keeping the tummy engaged, and the palms pressed into the floor. Give me four more. Good, two more. Last one, hold. You'll feel that burn onto the backs of the legs. Lower down, release for a moment and take those feet off. So just keep that squeeze between the knees. You'll feel the relaxing into the hamstrings. Inner thigh still working, a gentle clench, a gentle bit of engagement. This is our moment of rest. Before we repeat one more time, keep that squeeze on between the knees and lift your hips. This time, modifying just slightly, you can stick with the first or the second phase. We're gonna draw our feet in an inch up to demi point, keeping the hips up high. Let's add those hip dips back in. So now we're working a little higher up into the hamstring and glute attachment, still firing up the inner thighs, keeping the knees nicely in line. Push those palms down into the floor so we get a little bit of upper back and arm activation as well. Good, holding the pelvic floor, toning our lower abs. And finally lift and hold, squeeze it there. Hold for one more count. Before we lower, lift the feet and place them down on your chair. Shimmy your bottom back if you need to. You have a fairly shallow angle, about 90 degrees with the legs. And let's push up one more time. Engage the inner thighs, keep the gentle clench on. Lift the hips. So we engage those glutes and into those hamstrings. Now lift it up onto the chair. You'll feel the work into the hamstrings a little bit more into these multivalence muscles, the lower back that stabilize our spinal cord. Press the palms down into the floor. And again, let's add that little dip and press. You'll feel this into the backs of the legs. Don't worry, we're gonna have a little stretch out at the end. Push and lift, good, squeeze. And let's hold it there, good. Lower down, before we release off, just remove your towel. Turn those legs out, 
So the soles of the feet are together. The hips should be nicely open here. You'll get a gentle stretch just here. If you're working with a very hard chair, you might want to place a cushion between your feet and the seated part of your chair. If you can, come with me. We're gonna lift those hips up high, pushing into the outer part of the foot, squeezing into those glutes. So the hamstrings are now not working as hard. But we're firing up those rotators the ones we need to hold classical turnout and that really shape our bottom. Good, holding here, just breathe through it. And it's a little harder to add the dip here. So just make it really small, lower, and think of opening up the hips another inch, that turnout and range, increasing, push and lift. Any discomfort on the ankle bones, place your little cushion or towel underneath the feet between the chair. Push up. And finally, squeeze and open those hips. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Then lower down and draw those feet to parallel and just take them off your chair. Draw them in about shoulder width and give them a little rotation round and round, opening up into those hip sockets and releasing into the lower back. Good. Moving on to our stretch, if you can, you can just leave this leg flat on the floor or come with me. Placing one leg on your chair, shimmy back so you can get a full extension of the leg, your ankle and base of your calf resting on the chair. We're gonna take this leg as far as comfortable for you, then increase the work and stretch by pushing the hips up a little higher. Now you can keep one arm down on the mat for a bit of stability, or you can take both arms off and draw it in. This is a great active stretch. You get the reverse, you get gravity helping you to draw that leg down towards you, pushing those hips up, working those glutes. Hold four, three, two, one. Lower the hips. Good, and just draw that knee in towards your chest. Good, then same thing from parallel. We'll take it to turn out. And again, using this leg as resistance, Draw it in towards your body, keeping this elbow pressed out into the knee. Again, a nice two-way action, increasing the range of those hips, stretching out into those glutes. Good, extend your top leg, place it on the chair. And same thing in the reverse, take the bent leg up and point the toes. Take a level that's comfortable for you and then lift up. You can stabilize with the opposite hand. Or you can take both hands off, push those hips up higher, rest into the backs of the shoulders and draw that leg as close as you can towards the body. Press, let gravity be your friend. Draw that leg down towards you for two, for one. Good, lower those hips. Relax that leg in towards your chest. Then rotate from parallel to turn out and draw the other leg in, gently pressing that knee open with the elbow, draw the other knee in towards your chest. Release. Then draw both knees in and get a little massage of your lower spine to come to sitting. Well done, this is a great fire up for our lower body. When you come to standing, your adage, your stability on one leg, as well as the power through two legs when you come to jump and more dynamic movements will be much improved. You can take this sequence through daily. You can take it through more than once if you like, wind it back. For our full workouts, head over to sleepvalleyfitness.com. Like and subscribe here for more workout tips and exercises from Flick and myself. Take care, sleekers.